Hey YouTube, Jeremy here with Simple Little Life. And today I'm going to do a modification to my Mora knife. Uh, very common modification, but I'm going to one-up the way that it's done. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that. First, this is a Mora Companion. Uh, very inexpensive knife. I believe it's about 20 bucks you can pick them up for. Great little blade. I've had this one for a year and I use it a lot. Um, it's a stainless blade, which a lot of people get hung up on. Um, for long-term scenarios, I think carbon might be better if you've got more primitive means of sharpening. But for hunting and camping where you can come back to your garage, your shop, and, and put the proper edges back on your blades, stainless is fantastic, especially in the wintertime. Uh, you can set it down in the snow. If it's raining, you don't have to worry about rust starting to form on your blades. So I'm, I, I don't mind a stainless blade as long as it's a good quality stainless. And these Moors are fantastic knives. I think this by far is the best bang for your buck. Uh, if you're getting into hunting, camping, or bushcrafting, um, the shape, the size, they're just excellent blades. Um, but one thing that you want when you are looking for a bushcraft blade, or something to do with some more primitive type fire making stuff, is you want a 90 degree spine on the back of your blade. And these moors typically, they come, they're a little bit smoothed over. Uh, they probably do that for ergonomics so that, you know, nobody's going to accidentally cut themselves or or anything like that. And you don't necessarily want them sharp on the back, but you want a hard edge on there. The reason for that is obviously, Striking a ferrocene rod is one of the big reasons. Um, with this blade, I'm getting a couple little sparks. This isn't the greatest ferro rod either, but it works better than this with a hard edge. And then another reason is uh, processing small wood like tinder, like this, this piece of fat wood here. You can shave this down and make a little piece of sawdust. Um, I'm getting a bit there, but if you can get this stuff shaved down in a little pile, that stuff will take a spark very quickly. And it's an excellent uh, fire source. Basically, with this here, you can start a fire without any matches or anything like that. But being able to get a really hot spark, get a lot of that ferro rod scraped off at once, uh, it'll burn longer, it'll be hotter. And also, if you can get your shavings processed a lot quicker, uh, it's, it's a lot nicer than having to use your edge. You want to save your sharp edge. You don't want to be using that for your ferro rod or any type of processing you can do, shaving barks and stuff like that. If you can do it with the back of your knife, it's going to save your cutting edge and it's, it's a far better way to go. So what most people do is they'll take this to a bench grinder and grind it flat, but I'm going to one up that step and I'm calling this the ultimate Moro modification. And I'm going to use a hockey skate sharpener. Quickly explain to you why. Hockey skates, if you don't know, um, say this is the blade that contacts the ice. They are ground with a concave in them. So essentially it creates two edges, one on the inside and the outside of the skate. When you're playing hockey, when you're skating, you're always on your edges. That's what helps you dig into the ice, turn. They're not flat. A lot of people somehow think that they're just totally flat, but that's not the case. And there are various types of radiuses that you put into uh, the bottom of your skate, depending on the player size, the position they play, uh, the ice conditions. But I bought a skate sharpener because I mean, all my kids play hockey, I play hockey. And uh, it gets expensive always keeping good edges on your skates. Usually at least once a week we have to sharpen skates. And you're looking at between six to 12 bucks a time. And especially with goalie skates, like my son plays net, I play net. Goalie skates are very different than player skates. And if the guy that's doing the sharpening doesn't do it properly, they can wreck your blades. And we've had one set of my son's skates wrecked already and it's expensive. So I thought it was probably worthwhile just investing in it and doing it myself and I can control it. We can get the edges on when we need them on without having to run into the city. Also, like where I live, we can't get goalie skate sharp in town. So we have to go into the city and that's a half hour drive. So um, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use that hockey skate sharpener to put a profile on the back here. And I'm gonna show you why it's better than even just a 90 degree spine. Stay with me. Okay, so just to kind of show you with a better view, um, with this blade, somewhat rounded right now. It does not do a very good job of scraping a ferro rod. Okay, so I'm not getting hardly anything off of that, as well as shaving something like this fat wood. Just wanna do this so you can have a good before and after. Um, it does make some shavings but not that great. So if you were to get all these shavings in a little pile, and if you hit that with a good hot spark, you'd have no problems getting a, 
a fire going, I can't even get this thing to strike. So I'm going to come over to the skate sharpener and I'll show you how we're going to do this. So this is my new skate sharpener. Uh, this is a soda, made in the US, I come out of Minnesota. Interesting play on the name there. But basically, this is a skate holder and you clamp your blade in here so that it's horizontal. And what you do is you basically just run it along here and this grinding wheel will have the radius in it. You can adjust the type of radius you want in your blade, again, for different position, different conditions, different player weight. But basically, this is rounded and you can keep cleaning this, uh, this grinding wheel up, keep dressing it, I'll do it real quick. Well, there's a diamond cutter here. So now this grinding wheel has been freshly dressed and it's got a nice concave on there. Right now it's set to 5 8 um, What I'm going to do, hopefully I can, is uh, instead of a skate blade, I'm going to put my knife blade in here. Just like so. And I'm basically going to grind a little concave onto this part of the blade. And I believe I can do this without causing any damage to my sharpener. But uh, let me just set up the camera a little different and uh, we'll go ahead and put this on see how well it works. Okay, so safety glasses on. Got our knife locked down. And now we're just going to start grinding our uh, concave into here. go a little more again. Let me just redress this wheel. That should be good. clean that up a touch. I think the edge is good on there, but I just want it to be a little smoother. Okay. Okay, so if you come back outside, not sure if you can get this or not, but basically from right here to right here is where we have ground the blade. And now we have a concave on the top of this blade. So we have one edge here and one edge here. Um, this has a little more bite than a 90 degree spine. And uh, let's just jump right into a ferro rod. Let me adjust my camera and see if it indeed throws sparks better. Oh, that's a huge improvement. Lots of good sparks there. And then, let's zoom in a bit. Let's see what we can do with this fat wood. Oh, it shaves it much better. Big improvement there. See, once you get all these little shavings made, 
basically if I were to continue and actually build a fire, I would get some small slivers done. And, uh, see this in camera. And basically you just set your fire rod, ferro rod like this. Of course it's not gonna work now. And there you go. Now you've got a little fire with this fat wood even in the windy conditions. And then obviously if we shaved off slivers like this, these would burn very well as well. And now you've affected fire much better than before with a rounded spine on the mora. So 90 degree grind, it's a very common modification. And I'm calling this one the ultimate modification because we're not just 90 degrees. We've got a harder edge here and a harder edge here than you get with 90. So just thought I'd show you how I modified my mora. And I'm not sure if you could do it yourself. If you took it to a skate shop, if they'd do it for you or not. If they did, it'd probably only cost like five bucks, but just something different. I haven't seen anybody do this yet, so I thought I'd show you um, how I did it to this knife. All right, so there you have it. A concave spine modification to the Mora Companion done with a hockey skate sharpener. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Cheers.